What's up guys, it's fun for you here back on our video and today is week 4 of my Let's Make a Comic Book series. It is where I'm doing the 90 day challenge of creating my very own comic slash manga. And if you haven't watched my past videos, be sure to check them out. As always, links down below in the description. But let's not waste any time, let's get right to it. So I have a confession to make. Week 4 was more like let's not make a comic and it was kind of disappointing honestly. I don't want to get into the too nit gritty stuff and make excuses but there was a lot of stuff that happened with me this week. Some was good and some were not so great. I had some computer issues that almost took 3 days to fix and it really threw off my schedule. Luckily, I was saved by this little guy here. It is a 2.5 SATA to USB adapter that allowed me to pull off files from my laptop, hard drive to another computer and then back up those files into an external hard drive. And of course, I'll leave links down below with clear instruction to how I did this just in case some of you guys may have run into the same problem that I did. Now for the fun part, I had the opportunity to go up to San Francisco and celebrate with IGN for their 20th anniversary and I was even able to take a tour of the office and for those of you who may not be familiar with IGN, they are pretty much a company that focuses on geek culture. They review video games, movies, comic books, and they even have several podcasts that's pretty much about everything that you can think of. And it was a really amazing experience to meet with the most talented people in the industry and they have really inspired me over the past few years to make these like YouTube videos and just get outside my comfort zone. And it was important for me to express my gratitude to them and share how much they changed my life. On a side note, they were even accepting resumes but unfortunately I didn't have any on hand because I had to travel light. But I did have my new business cards that I've been working on and that's something that I wanted to share with you guys. Instead, I felt like they were well received and I just want to tell a quick antidote actually. For lunch, I had Panda Express two days in a row and during those two days, I got some really like lucky fortune cookies and honestly, I couldn't believe it. The first one was you may have a new opportunity soon and the second one was starlight, star bright, your wish will come true tonight and this was just before going to the event and the event was going to start from 4 to 11 that night and I was like, really? What is God or fate or destiny or whatever you believe in messing with me of all days? And believe it or not, I was like, you know what? It doesn't hurt to take the chance. And I went up to Paris Snyder, one of the founders of IGN and also a general manager there. And I introduced myself as a graphic designer who does his own content on YouTube. And I told him how much IGN has inspired me to do the things that I do and how amazing iGen has been for the past few years and it's really a life changing experience I thought. I gave him my business card and gave him the two fortune cookies as my form of a resume because I didn't have any on hand but now it's either up to him or Destiny or whatever to decide from there I guess. Of course I was really genuine towards how I felt about iGen and told him how much it has changed my life and how much it has inspired me. Hopefully he doesn't remember me as the weird guy who gave him two fortune cookies as a resume but as a genuine fan of IGN. Now it's up to fate at this point and honestly out of the end of it I guess I have a really cool story to tell. I digress. Going back to the business cards I want to say thank you to my friends and the natural Facebook group on voting on the ones that you like best and I really appreciate all the feedback and critique. So overall, this week may have not been the most progressive week for my comic but I was able to do some branding, 
make business cards, and even actually get some networking done. Even though my main goal was to uh, sincerely meet my favorite IGNers and give my thanks to them, it was a really amazing experience and opportunity to meet so many talented people from the various part of the video game industry. Alright guys, that about does it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and leave a comment down below on what your guys thought about what just happened. Is it fate or just sheer dumb luck that I happened to get these two fortune cookies? Maybe I'm putting too much thought into it, but who knows, it, it was a really cool experience overall. But for more fun content about anime, tech, art, and stupid stories like these, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. I'm fun for you. I'll catch you next one. Bye!